Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. If you've been watching my recent videos, you've noticed perhaps that I've been doing a lot of stuff with regards to expiration. And it also made me more inclined to make this video here. I wanted to just show you guys how I hack data and relic sites and how I hack them perhaps more efficiently than if you were to just hack them randomly. So to show how to hack well, we need to find a site to hack. So relic and data sites, you can find them all over the place, but the ones in high sec, I wouldn't say they're worth your time. They give so little isk, no reward, basically. You're better off just sitting in a station doing this project discovery over here. You'll get more isk. And then, on the other hand, you can go to null sec and well more space. In these areas of space, you can encounter a decent amount of isk by hacking data and relic sites. You can actually get a significant amount of isk. The difference, though, is that compared to the high sec sites, Nullsec and wormhole sites, they are of similar level and similar loot. They are a bit more difficult to hack, and especially for a person who's an alpha clone, who's got a little bit less skills, you've not got the best hacking skills, because as an alpha clone, you can't have like max hacking skills. It can be a little bit difficult. So I wanted to show you guys some uh, tips and tricks on how to hack a little bit better. Now, just keep in mind, I am saying hacking. I'm not talking about scanning. Scanning is where you scan down these data and relic sites. I'm talking about the hacking mini game. But we'll get started. So what I've got here is I've got a frigate here, basic exploration frigate, the Imicus. So we'll undock here and then we'll go to perimeter because I want to swap out my clone as in, uh, in my current clone here. I've got quite a pricey implant, so I do not want to lose them in case I die to uh oh where are the stargates oh stargates what's going on with my overview here <laughs> well we'll go to perimeter because i know that the gate is over there perhaps i did something to my overview general oh thank you no general 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 there stock up in the free clone bay over here leave our ship and swap out a uh, clone for a blank clone. Oh, we actually didn't even have any implants in to begin with. Never mind. <laughs> go for this and undock. So what we're going to do to go to null sec easily is to use one of these needle jack filaments. They enable us to just go there straight away. Very simple. We'll buy one here in the Tranquility Trading Tower. There are many different types of needle jack filaments. Take the cheapest one you can find and also the slightly different properties of them sometimes they teleport you into a system that has more or less activity so we can go and get that needle jack filament in here put it in here and undock i need to be in a fleet to be able to use these put security to yellow okay we just move a little bit and then we can activate the filament Let's just hope we don't die before we get to a site so that I can explain to you guys how the hacking works smoothly. Okay, we've got three cosmic signatures. Great, and we're in Sancho space, so that means that we can potentially get relic sites as well. Which is also good because they're usually a lot more valuable than data sites. Make a safe bookmark just in case. Oh, perfect. We've got a data site straight off the bat. Oh, there's someone there. Zero, zero, security status. There we go. Got that scanned down. Now we'll just wait a little bit until that guy has gone away. Otherwise, we can keep scanning. Heron. Okay, so he's probably going to be scanning as well. So we'll try to do it before he does it. Let's go to that central Sancho site there. We could have a little bit of an encounter here. I mean, our ship does have some armor, tank, and drone. So we could perhaps beat this guy. We'll see. So... You see that we've got the data bank over here. Data banks are the most difficult data canisters you can do. They're different tiers of data sites. There's also different tiers of relic sites, but we're not in a relic site right now. Data banks are the most difficult ones. Mainframes are a little bit in between. Com tiles are the worst. And they give better loot the harder they are. So we'll go to this data bank over here. I orbit it. 500. Stop with the MWD. Don't want to drain all my capacitors straight away. I think actually I can be cap stable while orbiting it, just to be a little bit on the safe side. So we'll orbit at 500. 
make sure we're in six or five kilometers depending on the range of this this is five kilometers i want to remove these large collidable objects so i can see a bit more on my overview okay how does this work then there's one really big rule when it comes to hacking smoothly it's called the rule of six how does this work well it means that if you click on a node that has surrounding six nodes this one here is one of them because one two three four five six it's got six nodes surrounding it this is where you up the rule of six applies the rule of six states that if you've got a node that's surrounded by six nodes like this one then it's guaranteed to be safe unless the system core is in one of these six nodes so that means that if I click on this and it's not safe, say an antivirus comes up, you know, the ones that like have you take damage and block you from going forward, then that means that it has to be that one of these surrounding sixes, one of them, it could be any of them, has to be the system core. So that's the rule of six. So we'll apply the rule of six here. So we know that this should be safe or it's going to be where the system core is where we want to destroy. So we'll try making our way there. We get... Uh, these buffs always try to get these buffs when you can find them i'm not talking about the white ones the ones that can give random stuff and that's uh i usually keep those for last but any of the kind of buffs i see i always take them straight away so you can see here these are both two f nodes which the rule of six is applied because this one has six nodes surrounding it this one here has only one two three four nodes surrounding it so the rule of six does not apply on this one so we'll click here do nothing here here, nothing here, and I can just keep clicking here because all these nodes here have got six surrounding nodes, like they're in the middle, completely surrounded by nodes. So I can just keep clicking here. I do not really have to think so much. Okay, but if I do somehow were to click on these and I find an antivirus, I know that all oh, the, the system core is very close. Okay, so then when it comes to finding the system core, in my experience, this is not, this is an anecdotal experience, so I can't say for certain that this is how it is but usually the system core is sort of on the approximate opposite end of where you start so if i start here i have a tendency to find the system core around here but it's a bit random but i usually like to make my way towards the opposite end of the grid because that's usually where i have a tendency to encounter the system core and that's just a little tip and where i try to make my route but it also depends a lot on if you encounter different types of antiviruses that take a lot of damage or give buffs to the other antiviruses then i would take a different route so it depends a lot but i usually try to make my way towards the opposite end of the field the grid that i started on. okay so then you see these numbers here you see that there's numbers this is also something that's important to understand or well, it's not really important but it can help you a little bit it's another tip here because we saw that there was four on here and this four here does not tell us a whole lot but it does tell us something it means that four nodes away is something good or it could also be something random like a white dot that could be something i believe it's the white dots as well because you can encounter these white dots that give something random it could be something good it could be something bad like a buff or it could be an antivirus that does a lot of damage but at least it means that four nodes away there's something that could potentially be good so it's hard to say because there's like one two three four it could be here one two three four it could be here like it could be almost anywhere so it doesn't tell us a whole lot when we say that there's four there we can continue here four again four again and then we've got an antivirus here sometimes you have to deal with these guys or you could just skip them and go this direction as well but since i've made such a big route here i'll just try anyway and just to demonstrate to you how these numbers work so three okay so three away there is something and this is dangerous territory here because the rule of six does not apply see none of these are surrounded by six nodes so there's a higher likelihood of encountering nodes that have something that is bad like the antivirus we just encountered before but i'll continue see another antivirus because the rule of six does not apply here so this seems to be a little bit too difficult for me so i'm going to be going here in this route instead and this can all be improved by having better skills so I do not think I'll actually be able to take out that guy there. So we might have failed the hack here. And that's just the way it is. I mean, sometimes it's not 
possible to complete the hack based on your previous moves. Like sometimes you're just in a bit of a dead end, but you can always give it your best try and you still fail sometimes. But we'll try again and we'll try doing it so that we can get the system core. So I'm guessing that the system core is perhaps over here somewhere. So I'm going to try to make my way there. Go here two away that means that there could be something here could be something here could be something here three away okay so then maybe this could be something here or could be something here that two was talking about four two and now i want to go here because this is where the rule of six applies you see these all nodes surrounded by six nodes so if i can just make my way here they're sort of a semi-safe zone oh no that's this is that's very annoying when you encounter that kind of one there blocking the entrance here come on <clears throat> no okay so it feels almost like there could be something here since we've got two of them here but it could also just be a coincidence ah we've got lots of antiviruses in this oh this is a very difficult one look at that some of these can just be a little bit too difficult you can just encounter too many difficult uh, nodes and you're toast so this one means there's something good one away. So it could be something here that's good, like that one. But that could also be something bad. So I'd not click on that unless I really have to. I'll click on it here. Ah, there's something bad. Two away. Oh, nope. They probably were signifying that there could be something good here. Yep. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to complete this one either. So keep in mind this is an alpha clone in Animicus. So we've not got the best kind of ship with the best amount of skills but it also depends a little bit on your luck as well you could encounter a very good path that leads you directly to the system core even if you like, have really tried to take into consideration all the rules of the grid but sometimes you still just get too many difficult antiviruses like these ones here so you can see here just we had antiviruses everywhere there's nothing really we could do about it i know it's disappointing but don't uh, get too disheartened because even i don't think that all of these are made to be completed if you just happen to have a bit of bad luck in the beginning sometimes it just is enough to have a bit of bad luck in the beginning and you won't be able to complete it with the skills you have but you can have an increased likelihood of doing these successfully if you take into consideration the rule of sixes and also the ways these numbers work and keep in mind that maybe that they could be system calls in the opposite end of the grid let's hack this mainframe the mainframe's a little bit less difficult than the other data banks and this is a perfect grid sometimes there's a lot of luck involved in the generation of this grid because these grids seem to be randomly generated and when you get like lots of continuous nodes like this this is the, like a really perfect grid because this is where the rule of six applies to so many of these so you can see you've got a big grid i don't even have to think I can just click here and look i just click here everywhere because the rule of six applies i just click because all of these nodes here they're surrounded by nodes i just click on the ones that are all surrounded by nodes see there was one away from here that something was good so maybe here two two from this one could be here now there was something good you see that okay so then we'll go here two away from here one two one two it could be something there nope okay so then it's probably this direction and we've got some annoying one here we can use one of these uh, buffs here to take this one out very quickly and there we go with the system core so you see what i mean usually they're a little bit like in the opposite direction not all the time but i've had a bit of anecdotal evidence that i think that they are usually that's usually the case so i can just take them out open up the loot which is absolutely absolutely bad and go to another one of these mainframes and to be honest you know i should have brought some filaments with me to take me back to to high sec because now i'm a bit stuck here unless i scan my way out but that's for another day the main thing here i wanted to show you guys how to hack smoothly okay so we'll orbit here same thing go and start hacking and try to apply the rule of six as much as possible so go here one away there's something good okay we've got that here this one has to be safe because of rule of six uh, okay that's a bit difficult because that guy is in the way we can try going through him this is where the rule of six applies rule of six applies here this one is also a bit difficult and there's one away so there's that's what it was signifying that one was i believe and then we've got also that 
buff here which can take this guy out in one go you see there was nothing here and none of these could be the system call because the rule of six states that if this one is good then the system call can't be around these uh, surrounding nodes so one away from this is something good and there's the system call we have how much life left we have virus coherence you can take okay so i can't take a whole lot more damage so i need to repair up my damage we can go for this one maybe nope is there anything that can maybe give us a bit of a buff yeah we've got our repair kits that's good and uh, we go for that one and there we go 2.5 million so that's how you hack some general rules how to hack smoother than before it doesn't guarantee that you're going to always be able to successfully hack a site depends a bit on your luck initially the grid generation and also your skills and ship uh, but using the rule of six i think would be the main rule to help hacking be a bit easier also understand how those numbers work that they can tell you where something good is or could be good potentially be good is and then also try to sort of make your way towards the other opposite end of the grid so hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned something new this was how to hack if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later